For the last century and a half, there have been three basic circuit elements, resistors, capacitors, and inductors. In 2008, a research team at Hewlett Packard discovered a fourth, the memristor. The memristor behaved like a resistor that could become more or less resistive based on its history, with applications from dense crosspoint switches and computer memory to neural networks and bioelectronics, memristors have the potential to revolutionize all of circuit theory. That is, if anyone knew how to actually use them. Nobody knows what to do with them yet. The simulation programs were written like 10 years before memristors were even discovered. I mean, yeah, some people have tried to write extensions that allow us to model them, but the simulations fail in a lot of reasonable situations. After struggling with several simulation programs, the team decided to design a more robust simulator themselves. It had to have native support for memristors, but also be able to handle existing circuit components. We went with SPICE because, well, one, it was open source, and two, it was already a top-notch circuit simulator. But even before we started, it was already tens of thousands of lines of code. It was a big challenge to add new functionality without breaking any of the old. The team's modified version of SPICE allows for quick prototyping of memristor circuits. They hope that by making it easier to simulate memristors, they can help accelerate the pace of memristor circuit design. Thank you.